Race in the Khalid Abdullah colors, right after the first cup, they're pink. And that's it, away they go. And Luton Chante comes out a little slow. So also does Miramar Reef. But they were only left a couple of lengths or so. And straight into the lead goes the pacemaker Cataldi. It's Cataldi cutting out the pace, already some four or five lengths clear of stablemate Raft in second. Then the favorite, Free Guest, settles down in third. Then behind her, showing four, is Elegadere, five, Tolomeo. Then six, Cannes, seven, Romilda, one of four for France. Followed by another Frenchman, Palace Music, on the outside of Morcon. They're going a tremendous gallop. They've covered two furlongs already. And it's Cataldi blazing the trail, well clear, of Raft two, Free Guest three, Elegadere four, Cannes five. Then Tolomeo six, Romildo seven. After these come Morcon. Then Miramar Reef on the outside, hat him on the rails. Then Bob back, behind Bob back, towards the outside is Pebbles with Palace Music. And the last two are both Frenchmen, Carrier Law and Luton Chante. They're coming now down towards the halfway point in this Dubai Champion Stakes. And still out in front where he's been throughout so far is Cataldi, the pacemaker, really setting a tremendous gallop from Raft in second place. Behind these two, Lester Pickett has the favorite free guest, well placed in third. Those are the first three, and here's Graham. A lot of daylight between Cataldi and Raft, and then in the uh, white face, the jockey Lester Pickett on free guest back in third place. Hatim makes ground, they've got three furlongs to go. And it's Cataldi really stretching them from Raft. Then Hatim third, so it's Carla Abdullah, one, two, three, in the Dubai champion stakes. Then comes free guest, also trying to make up ground is Elegadere. Just in behind these, Romildo coming with a run. They race down into the dip. They've got a furlong and a half to go. And Cataldi is coming back to his field, challenged now by Raft. Free guest is edging towards the center of the track. Romildo is staying on well. Hatim is under pressure. Palace Music with the white face on the very wide outside. They're inside the final furlong. And Palace Music finishing very fast, also finishing very fast on the very wide outside is Pebbles. And Palace Music goes on from Pebbles as they go up towards the line. Palace Music from Pebbles. Palace Music the winner. Pebbles is second. Raft is third. Then Cataldi four, Free Guest five, Romildo six, Morcon seven, Ptolemeo eight, Hatim nine, Elegandair ten. Then came Carrier Law, and the back markers include Miramar Reef. Also towards the rear was Luton Chante, who was struggling virtually throughout, and also Bob Back. And so the result of this Dubai Champion Stakes. It's a win for number 13, Palace Music, owned by Mr. Uh, Nelson Bunker Hunt, trained in France by Patrick Bianco and ridden by Yves Saint Martin. His first victory in England this season, but his third in the Champion Stakes, having won it with Flying Water in 77 and Veyran in 81. And officially, it's a photo between Palace Music and number 17 Pebbles, who's owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained here at Newmarket by Clyde Britton and ridden by Philip Robinson. That's the one, too. I think we'll find that Raft was third, but that's close as well because the pacemaker Cataldi lasted very well indeed uh, to be in that photo for third place. But Palace Music with the white face came with a rattling run inside the final furlong. You couldn't find him with radar with three and a half to go. It was a very, very strong pace, but Yves Saint Martin, who has uh, ridden Palace Music, a time the thing to perfection to swoop through on the very wide outside. And let's review the closing stages with Bruff in a moment or two as we see Palace Music come back into the winner's enclosure. And there he is. So a victory for France in this Dubai champion stakes, the first for many a year and the first victory for a French trained horse in England since Marbiche won uh, the thousand guineas a couple of years ago. So there's our winner, Palace Music. Officially, though, it's a photo finish. And also in that photo uh, is number 17, Pebbles, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, who, of course, is uh, one of the men who put up the money for this Dubai champion stakes. But let's review the final two and a half furlongs with Bruff. And the first thing to say is that Cataldi's held on incredibly well. That's the astonishment of this race. And we knew already now that uh, Cataldi was, had lasted much longer than expected and Raft was being driven a bit just to, just to lay out with him. Let's see it now. You see the winners way, way back, and that was probably the place to be because they had gone very strong. We haven't got the time yet, but I bet it's very fast. Raft chasing Cataldi and actually chasing him. Free Guest is also in pursuit with a white face. Romildo is coming through the pack. Elegadao with the noseband is hanging on. Palace Music still, what, is that six lengths off the leader? Six lengths off the leader. And we're coming through now towards the furlong, furlong marker, but it's Cataldi in front of Raft, and they're all driving. Romildo's coming. Out on, on the left is Hatim with the yellow cap. 
as they close now towards the final furlong. Cataldi beginning to tie up, but not very much. Raft taking him. Here comes three guests as we go past that furlong marker. Three guests alongside Romildo, who still haven't seen Palace Music. Here he comes, Palace Music with a white face. And Pebbles, who hadn't settled very well early on. She's really coming, and viewers in Dubai, here are your colours, but I don't think you're going to make it, I'm afraid, because Palace Music with Yves Samata, who knows his Roly Miles so well, he's really got him running. Pebbles is running on magnificently bravely. She closes all the time, but it can't be a Dubai winner. It's going to be a French winner here. Palace Music goes home, part ahead of Pebbles. It's very close as they drive on towards the line between Raft and Cataldi. It looks to me as if Raft actually does beat Cataldi with three guests Bass back in fifth. And we've had that confirmation of the result, so let's look at the head-on. And you see Cataldi working away with Raft, with Greville Starkey's distinct noticeable elbows really punching here. Out on the right, you see that three guests has been seen to be blown out, out to the right there with Lester Pickett. Palace Music coming out to the right, to, to the wide right, and then Pebbles right to the furthest right. As they drive up this hill, and it takes some getting today, driving up here, Cataldi still hanging on very well. Three guests not being able to produce an awful lot. But here comes Palace Music, Yves Samata with that very distinctive up the next style, but he does make horses run. Pebbles coming most gallantly, but up towards the line, the champion stakes is going to go to France. It's Palace Music does it, and what a triumph for Patrick Biancone, this young Frenchman who had the first and third in the arc. And there you are, two minutes five, the standard time, and two minutes 104 is the actual time. That is a new track record. We thought it might be fast, but that is sensational. It was a very good champion stakes and a great win for France with Palace Music. And there he is, the son of the minstrel, Palace Music, the 18 to 1 winner. And he is now from the ring of John McCurry.